In this tutorial, we will create one 3D object and see the application of some of the 3D commands. So we will be creating this object. So let's start. So in AutoCAD we will shift to 3D modeling. Then close the tool palettes. We don't want to use it. then change your view to southeast isometric so it is very important that you choose the southeast southeast isometric because we will be using the ucs as per this so it is very important to take the southeast isometric as a direction so sh to shift the ucs icon give ucs icon command choose no region option so here we are ready so at first in this object suppose we will uh, create a bottom plate of 96 by 64 so we will just say rectangle then first corner point right click then dimensions so in x direction we want 96 and in y direction we want 64 click the direction double click the roller for zoom extent so this is ready so after this we will press pull it to give it 3d thickness so press pull and we will give a thickness of 16 here so choose the direction upside give 16 as a thickness enter so this bottom plate is ready now click on visual style and choose conceptual so that we can view it in conceptual visual style so after this we want to create this shape this particular shape from here it is on 16 again 16 20 width and 16 diameter circle so for that for that we will copy this particular edge on 16 so we will choose from here extract edges choose copy edges so I want to copy this edge enter base point direction on uh, make ortho on, on 16 distance then I want to copy this edge on 20 this particular edge on 20 ok escape then I want this edge so for easy selection I will switch back to 2d wireframe ok now I want this edge to be offset on 16 so I will say offset 16 select the edge on this side right side so now uh, I will trim the unwanted edges I don't want this edge this edge and these two edges okay now here I will create a circle so circle give the radius of 8 so this portion is ready again internal I don't want so I will just trim this circle and erase this line now this shape is ready so I want the hole here so I will use press pull go inside the shape click and go down cross the thickness and click so hole will be created there you can see it in conceptual visual style so this hole is uh, uh, created so next we want to create suppose this portion on the end so this is a 64 height 64 width and a fillet of 48 so it is on right plane so we will ju just change uh, just change our plane to right go to view and then from this un uh, from coordinate section select unname select right so our xy will change as per that so again I will come back to home and I will say rectangle I want a rectangle first point then right click dimension <coughs> I want it to be of 64 by 64 so I will give 64 by 64 on this side then I will convert it into the 3d object using press pull press pull and give a thickness of 16 it is of 16 thickness okay so I will give 16 then I want here a 
radius of 48 so I can do that using fillet so I will say fillet so in fillet you have to choose a edge that will be removed because of the fillet so this edge will be removed so I will click on this edge and radius of 48 enter I don't want any other edge so I will just again press the enter so this fillet is created now this object is ready I will move it and place it here so I will say move for move M is the shortcut move select object enter this endpoint should be placed on this endpoint here so this object has been placed but these are two different objects so you can union them using union command so just say union this and this enter so both object has been merged into each other so I will erase this rectangle I don't want it now next will be the this shape this shape I want to create so this is on front front plane this is on front plane the height is 28 and width will be 24 plus 8 that is 32 plus 8 40 is the width so on front plane I will create a rectangle of 28 by 40 so I will go to view and choose front then I will go back to home and I will create a rectangle give a base point so length is in x direction I will say right click dimension so length is 40 height is 28 so this rectangle is ready then there is one circle is there this circle is there of 24 diameter that is 12 radius that also I will create using circle command so circle 12 radius so this shape is ready so I will press pull it the thickness is 20, 64 minus 22 that means it will become 2, two gone so 62 minus 20 that is 40 42 so I will give the thickness of 42 so I will just say press pull this on 42 thickness 42 so this shape is ready now now I have to place this shape here so I will go to 2D wireframe so that I can place this point so I will put, uh, put this point on this point so I will again say move so just say move select object enter then base point this end point where you want to place here on this end point just click so it has been placed so you can view it in conceptual visual style now next shape is I don't want this so I will just erase these shapes and this line also I don't want it so it has been erased now here one triangle is needed so this triangle is uh, again on front plane so front plane we already have so using P line I will create this triangle because that will make selection very easy so I will say polyline and uh, I will use extrude so for extrude polyline is necessary from this point to this point to this point this end point to again back to top top end point so I am making ortho off so this ok it is wrong just undo and take this end point ok click enter so this triangle is ready so then I will say press pull or I can also use extrude so I will say extrude select this triangle enter give the direction on this side and take the thickness is 12 so I will give 12 thickness so this shape is ready now these three shapes are uh, these two shapes are different separate shapes so I will uh, merge them using union command so I will just say union and select all the shapes and enter so that's all so in this way we have created this object if you want to give color to this object then you just right click on home select show panels select properties so our properties will be shown just click the object and choose the desired color what you want suppose I want blue escape so in that color it has been created so in this way we have created this object so thanks for joining we will stop here